Hi, this is problem 4.3. So here we have a hammer, right? And with this hand, which is applying actually force in this direction, right? Incline 20 pounds at an angle of 30 perpendicular to the direction perpendicular to the line of the hammer. And they are trying to take this nail out, right? So we like to find what is the moment that this force produces respect to point A. The first thing that we will we'll do is set up our coordinate system. And I will set up a coordinate system that is inclined and is along the hammer and of course the other axis is perpendicular to that axis which is this x over here. So we actually can write this force F as a vector in terms of x, F x in x direction, it will be this one right here, if this is F, and plus F y in y direction, which will be this one right here that will be parallel to that one right here. And as you see, F x will be the magnitude of the force times cosine, which this is the adjacent, right? Cosine of 30 in I. And in Y, which is also positive, will be 20 sine of 30. So this is my force in pounds as a vector in terms of its components. So let's see how these components produce moment respect to point A. As you recall, moment, the definition of moment as a vector is the distance times the force, vector approach, right? And as a scalar approach, it will be the distance than the force, and this force has to be perpendicular to, so D and F are perpendicular. So I have to look for the perpendicular distance. So either I have to slide this force till I, till I find the perpendicular distance, or I can find the perpendicular distance in Y direction and multiply by the X component, right? Obviously, this will have a specific sign, and then I will have the y, the x direction, multiplied by the y component. And this is the approach I will use for this problem. Obviously, be careful because each of these components have a specific sign depending on the right-hand rule. So let's do that. So my moment will be equals to, let's find the distance for the x component, will be the y distance. So as you see, this component right here, which is the x component, is the distance will be this distance right here. And this is 18. As you recall, we place our hand here is where I'm taking the moment. This will be my distance, and I will put my hand so that I can curl my fingers towards the force. So I do that, and I see that is clockwise. If it's clockwise, this moment is negative, because as you recall, this is x, this is y, and counterclockwise will be positive, a clockwise will be negative, right? So in this case, I have 18, 18, curl my fingers to Fx, and I get clockwise. So therefore, it will be negative 18 times the x component, which is 20, cosine of 30, we know that is square root of three over two. And I don't put any, I know that this moment is in K, but I'm not putting any vector, I'm doing a scalar approach. 
And this sign means that it's in negative k, that it goes in this direction. Now I have the y component, then I have to find, this is the y component. I slide my force over here and find that the distance is five inches. And again, I place my hand here, it's point A. The distance goes to my palm and I curl my fingers to the force and it will be also clockwise. So it's gonna be negative five, 20, sine of 30, which is one. Now, if I multiply those numbers, right? And I add them together, I get that the moment is negative three, six, one, 77 pounds per inch. And as I said, this sign over here means that the moment is clockwise. And this is the solution of this problem.